freedom to choose the jobs you want, when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Mouthwash. Not being sick. <sighs> Morning. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Ugh. Here we are. In Milton Keynes, it is half past five in the morning. I've just woken up and um, just doing some daily checks. Before we carry on, I just want to show you this. I hope I don't get in trouble. But this right here is Red Bull. Red Bull Racing Technologies. That's cool. Anyway, here we are. We're, uh, we're just getting ready to, to head off to London. Got to go to Camden. So we're just doing some day checks. Getting to that time of year now where you need to torch. Check it all out in the daylight. Uh, sorry, in the night time. Yeah, we've got to take this to Camden. And then uh, from Camden, we've got to go back to Swindon, get reloaded, and then we're getting loaded with uh, toilets to go to Lapland, UK, which we did last year and the year before that as well. So once again, Luke Seen HTV is delivering Christmas. Yeah, we're just checking the wheels and the lights and making sure everything's all okay. It all looks good. So at the time of recording this, it's, uh, well, it's October. Just, just started October and we're delivering stuff into Lapland already <laughs> but um, yeah I did think it was going to happen I uh, just didn't think it was going to be this soon anyway I'm going to jump in the truck we're going to get a move on and uh, head to Camden Town get rid of these slabs slates whatever you want to call them roof tiles we're going to SIG roofing I'll see you in a bit I'll tell you what, only in London can you be only one and a half miles away from your destination and still be 15 minutes away. <laughs> one and a half miles, 15 minutes. Anyway, there's a shard right in front of us. I don't know if you can quite see that on the dash cam. We need to take a right hand turn. Uh, so we're doing this lane. Yeah, of course. Of course the lights are going to change. No, oh, actually, is it this lane we need? It's the next right we want to take, I think. Yeah, we don't want to take this right, we want to take the next right. So I can still stay in this lane. I've got a bike on the left side of me. Ah, yeah, it's been a lot of traffic getting into London today, which is totally normal. Lots and lots of traffic. We've been, I was, the ETA originally was 8 o'clock, um, it, well it's 5 past 8 now so we are delayed because of traffic. Let's set the van and the bike through and then we're going to take up both lanes I think. I oh, know, we can stay in this lane, middle lane turns into the middle lane here. Oh, that car's come down and cut in front, thank you mate, you're welcome, nice driving. Now we need both lanes to get around this corner, definitely. Yeah, the van in front. Um, just cut in front, got in the wrong lane, and then pulled right in front of me. Very nice, thank you. Much appreciated. Anyway, Camden Town, pretty much, is, is the direction we're heading towards. Continue down here and then turn, take a right. Cyclist, man. 
just pulled right out in front. Luckily I'm paying attention and I can spot it. You're welcome. Bus didn't say thank you for me slowing down. London drivers are just... The well, buses are normally right, man. <laughs> I swear, every time I come to London, I just moan. I think that's just true. I think I just moan every time I come to London. Right, I'm going to give you one and a half metres space. But that space is going to run out. Here we go. How much room do you want? Oh, oh that bike shed. Don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. We can't go any faster if we're doing 20 mile an hour. <laughs> it's when cyclists catch you back up. They're blatantly going past the speed limit. And they don't get done for it, do they? Squeaky brakes, squeaky brakes, squeaky, squeaky, squeaky brakes. Right, we're going straight over here. It's a very busy interchange, isn't it? Gosh, I wouldn't want to make that left turn here. That's a sharp... Well, you'd, you'd make it, but you'd need all the room in the world to get around it. You'd have to proper go out and around. All these cyclists, look, they're going to go straight on, they're going to slow me down. As I've said before, there's almost no point overtaking cyclists, they're just going to get you again. It is definitely the quicker way of transport, 100%. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you've all gone through red light, just to let you know. That is a red light. What's the point in overtaking? There's just no point. I ain't got enough room to do it anyway. Fully heavy. We're only half a mile away from where we need to be. We're just door door behind this bloke. Well, this guy stopped pedalling. So we shall overtake you. If you're not going to pedal. It's starting to get a little bit nerve-wracking, not going to lie. I tend to get anxious at places I've not been to before. Just looking at the sat-nav, we need, we need to go bare left here, then take a right, and then we're pretty much there. Should be all right, there's nothing to be nervous about. I do, I, do, I get anxious, but it's an enjoyable anxious because Although it's bad at the time, once the once the fear is over and you've done what you've set out to achieve, it's like a, an over an overwhelming sense of achievement. It's really weird. But um, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't get anxious because I do. I do get anxious. I don't. <laughs> I do not want to be on the news for causing an incident. So, we want to take a right here. How much room do we need for the right? That's the question. I have a sneaky suspicion. Yeah, we're going to need both lanes. To make this right. I think we're going to have to get away to vehicles coming the opposite way as well, by the looks of it. Ugh. 
There's a lot of pedestrians. I don't want to run anyone over. That's a red light, Mr. Cyclist. This is the one. <laughs> the one next to me on the left here is the one that didn't want to cycle down here. We didn't want to push. Red light, red light. They don't care. They just do not care. It's a red light. It's a red light. Uh, cyclist on the left. but to let me go, just have a check this clear on his side. It is. I don't think they get many Arctics down here. But UPS vans all over the place. It's a bit snug. I can't make this left turn, this left bend here. I don't think. Uh, I can, but I'm going to have to go on the curb with my trailer. I ain't sitting around waiting. Trailer is on the curb. Now it's off. Here we go then, down here. Yeah, it's a little bit nerve wracking, that final piece. Hopefully it'll be a bit quieter when we leave. Fingers crossed. I'll go nice and slow so this cyclist can pass me. There's loads of room for him to get past me. Yeah, it's all good. All good in the hood. Kentish Town, which is not to be confused with another word that sounds similar. <laughs> For the people you don't like. <laughs> Kentish down. Right. Do you have your gates open, Sig? Because looking on Google last night, should you have your gates open, it looks like there's room for me to just drive straight in. Okay. Your gates are open, but there is no room for me to drive straight in because there's an Arctic in there. Right. We're going to have to go in and speak to him. And... Uh, let them know we're in here. There's an Arctic in there already, I can see. But we're going to speak to them and then see what we can do. See you in a bit. Right, so there's the vehicle being offloaded. Uh, just gone in, they said I'll be in uh, after them. That's good. Got some proper charging machines there. Anyway, there's the truck. We're ready to go. We're not going to undo the straps yet because we'll be going in any minute now. And the problem is, if you undo the straps on outside, you've got to do them all up before you move again, or I like to anyway, so. He's literally just about finished, so we're going to jump in the truck. As soon as he comes out, we're going to uh, jump back in. Um, drive in, sorry. That's what we're going to do. Okay, that answered my other question. I've uh, just been told to reverse back a little bit because uh, the lorry driver that's already in there has to back out and sort of reverse into that gap between the shed and the car and then drive out this way. So that's why I've backed around here, out the way. And yeah, once he's done that, we can then uh, drive on in. Here we go, so that's what I'm going to have to do in a minute. Oh, he's taking that a bit sharp, mind. So, at least he's got a banksman watching him out. As soon as he goes out, I think I'm going straight in. Ah, yes, baby. He's just taking a load off me. He's just taking a load off me. And he's just taking a load off me. Triple penetration, baby. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we're nearly tipped. As you just saw, we've got three of them on us. Give my windows a bit of a wipe. Not my, window, not my windows, my mirrors. Give my mirrors a wipe. That's 
Wrap up. All dead? Lovely. Mid lift up. Right, we're gonna go forward a little bit before we go back, just so we can increase our trailer angle. Said the sun is right in my mirror, so it's a little bit blind. Okay, that's better now I can see. Where's, where's the gate post? Yeah, we've got loads of room. Gate post is coming up on the left now. There we go. mind this car that's parked here when I come back out because the trailer's going to swing a bit. Oh, I'm very close to the car. I saw his hand up, but I didn't know whether he was telling me to stop or not. <laughs> yeah, we made it. We're out. Give it the old toot. Right, before we continue, seatbelt on. Of course, you're entitled to not wear a seatbelt whilst doing manoeuvring, which is what I was doing. Beacons off. Right, so we've got to make our way back to Swindon now, go to Dorkin. Gonna be there about quarter past 11, maybe just before, depends on traffic. Might be after quarter past 11. And uh, go get loaded with some toilets. And then take that to Lapland so Father Christmas can take a dump. That is essentially <laughs> what we're gonna be doing. Hopefully all the UPS trucks have buggered off, but no, it doesn't look like it. Looks like there's something holding traffic up. Yeah, all the UPS. It's a really busy road. I think at some point we're gonna be blocking up a road. Yeah. Right, anyway, we're going to be in this traffic for ages, so I will see you uh, when we are probably loaded with the toilets and leaving Swindon or, or at Swindon. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are here waiting to be loaded. We're actually outside on the road at the moment because in there is Lena. Come on, Lena. Waiting to get loaded. <laughs> If you don't follow Lena already, check her out on YouTube. That is literally her channel name, Lena Trucker. Check her out. She does some work for us and uh, is obviously taking some Portaloo somewhere as well. Maybe Lapland as well. I don't know. So, yeah, we're just waiting on the road. And uh, when she comes out, we can go on in. Hi, I'm Elise. It's Larry. Oh, my God, this is so exciting. What is this? It's a power bank. 
Have you just walked oh shit shit? <laughs> on, I just saw <laughs> Really? I thought it was a right. So that's Lena. And uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of an overhang there, but that'll be too much of an issue. He's just loading me there. We're gonna go walk down and see if we can see Lena a second. She's funny. <laughs> Right, we are loaded. Unfortunately, I couldn't do much filming because it was very go, go, go. And you might have seen those days. We were loading on like outside their premises on the road. <laughs> it was a private road, bless me. Private road, but other people need access to the buildings behind it. So I was running around like a lunatic, strapping up to get out onto the main road um, quickly so I can get out their way so that they can go in and get what they need to do. Um, so yeah, I had no time really to uh, to be messing around. I had to strap up quickly as possible. We're only in there for like 10 minutes, for, uh, uh, 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Um, so we are on our way. We do need to have a break on the way. Uh, we've got 30 minutes of drive time left. So I'm hoping to go to memory services on the M4. We're gonna stop there for half an hour. Uh, Lena Trucker was going to follow me, but she was ready to go. And I said, look, just go, you'll be all right. <laughs> Show you where it is, where the entrance is, because I went last year. Now, as long as the entrance hasn't changed, I've given her correct information. Um, so she's she's gone. Uh, I completely forgot I needed to have a break. So it's a good job she didn't wait for me because, yeah, I need a break. So we stop at memory services, uh, have a break, and then carry on from there. We've got toilets on board, uh, disabled toilets, changing toilets, like baby changing toilets, and normal men and women's toilets as well. Um, they're the toilet blocks, the white ones, uh, the posh ones. So that's what we got on board. By the time we get a break in, by the time we get to Lapland, we're probably talking about quarter to two, give or take. So uh, yeah, get that tipped off hopefully quite quickly. Back in Swindon by four o'clock. Don't know what we're doing. We've probably got to get loaded somewhere, ready for tomorrow, or could be a case of getting loaded in the morning, not sure. Been out all week this week. Uh, today's Thursday, and I haven't been home at all since Monday. So the boss is keen to get me home because uh, as per our agreement but he, he's good my boss is awesome he messaged me last night to apologize for uh for the week because obviously he tries to get me home as much as he can and this week i've not been home at all since since monday and he apologized to me and that means a lot it means an awful lot it shows that he cares and that he does try so i appreciate that big time and that's one of the reasons why i love working for this company i got I got asked the other day, I don't even know if I should say this, but I got asked the other day by somebody, I can't remember who. Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying it over there? Still enjoying it? I was like, yeah. Why would I not be enjoying it? Have you looked for any other jobs? No. I haven't even thought about looking for another job. The, the way I say it, the only way I'm leaving Harry and Sons is if I decide I don't want to drive trucks anymore, or something forces me to not drive trucks anymore, um, or I get my own own license and work for myself, one or the other. Um, I can't see me leaving Harry and Sons to go work for anybody else. That's for sure. Unless it's outside the trucking industry. Right, anyway, let's crack on. Um, let's get to memory and let's, let's have our break. Right. We're in memory services. We're going to have a break and then, uh, and then we can carry on. It's a little bit annoying. You got you got to abide by the the driving rules and regs, but I'd rather just carry on. To be honest with you, get it delivered. Because once I get it delivered, I've got to come back to swimming and I'm done for the day. It's just it's one of them. Like pay by the day, not by the hour. So the more hours I work in a day, technically the less I earn. So if I can finish early, then great. And uh, it's annoying. It's annoying because I don't feel tired on the slightest. I, I get more tired not driving does that make sense i get more tired resting than what i do while i'm actually driving and doing work is it yeah it is what it is it is what it is we'll uh we've got to have a break and then uh we'll crack on that sun is a bit bright okay we are just around the corner from lapland I was going to go in the other way, <laughs> the way I told Lena. Lena, if you're watching, I do apologise. I don't know what way you come in, um, but I was going to go in the other way, but traffic was building up, so I've come in this way. Um, hopefully, I've given you the right details, the right entrance. There's, there's is two potential entrances 
and I don't know which one it is. I'm hoping it's sign posted. That's what I'm hoping. Let's get around here. Right, we've got a mile to do on this road and then we're gonna turn right and then we're pretty much there. Um, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, Lapland, UK. <laughs> Lena didn't know what Lapland was. It's Christmas, Christmassy. It's delivering smiles and joys to little boys and girls. It's literally Santa's grotto, basically. Mate, you're blowing all those leaves into the road and I'm just gonna kick them back up to you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's essentially Santa's grotto. It's, uh, it's magical. I've never been, I've only, I've only delivered stuff there, but it looks good even in the back bit. Um, yeah, it's like fake snow all over the place. Whether it is now or not, I don't know, but um, when I went last time, there was fake snow, there was lights and stuff like that, and little huts and people dressed up in um, costumes like elves and, and whatnot. So yeah, it's really good. I actually had a look at prices last night while I led in bed, because I slept in the truck last night. As you saw this morning, we woke up in Milton Keynes, but the night, night before I was looking at prices for a family of four so for me my wife and two kids you're looking at 600 quid <laughs> and that's for like a half a day's worth of activities I think if that I think it said it, it lasted like four hours five hours it's, it's a tour or something so yeah green light don't know if you saw that or not the fence the yellow fence that they're moving almost come out to the road We've got any cars going to come down the right hand side of us? Are you going to try? Nah, you're not going to try. You're not going to try. Okay, we're going to take a right. I don't know how tight the turn is. Is there any chicanes on the road? No, there is a, there is a vehicle. We can make that fine, not a problem. Gotta wait for one of these vehicles to let me through. I don't like it when vehicles pass me on the left side when I'm about to turn because the back end of the trailer kicks out. That car's speeding along. I can't make that. He deliberately sped up. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go. Thank you, mate. Right, let's head on down here. We've got to try and find the entrance. I don't know which one it is. Which one is the entrance? It's on the right hand side. Right, I see all the stuff. Is it this one? Nope, it's this next one. Ah, oh, there we go. Lapland UK deliveries. This is the one we want. Got some trees in it. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, mate. That's a bit close on that uh, fence boost. Yeah, last year we went up there, and then I think we come back down, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is Lapland. The Lapland delivery. I vaguely remember. Like I said, I came here last year, but I vaguely remember it. It's a bit of a camber here. Go down this straight bit, and then uh, last year, I pretty much, I think they offloaded me on, literally on this straight, I think. There's no fake snow yet. 
Because <laughs> I think it's too early for the fake snow. All the little marquees and stuff are going up. We're too early. Santa's not here yet. Santa's still sleeping. Let's build some speed up for this hill. Do you want me down there? Yeah, big yeah. Oh, don't like the camber. Bow, bow, bow. Right. I guess we're just waiting here then. Yeah, I think so. Right, let's make a phone call. I think Phil's here. Let's phone Phil, see what he says. Yeah, last time I came here, all this was like all snowy and there was stuff in the bushes and all sorts. It's very much a uh, everything get together thing at the moment. There's all the fences that they all get covered in snow to make it all look snowy. Oh, I think there's some logs around here, wooden huts. So these are all huts, houses, I assume. Oh, I don't even care. We're having a look. <laughs> We're in Santa's Grotto. Going through the doors. More houses over here. Yeah. I think all these get lighted up and fence posts and everything. And then they go all the way down there as well. But yeah, the whole thing's just covered in snow when it's done. It's really good. Okay, right, let's walk back to the truck. Ain't got many to come off. Right, we're tipped. We are tipped. And from here, we're going back to the yard. Got to drop this trailer, hook up to another trailer, and then get loaded in the morning. So we are pretty much done for the day. Need ad blue as well. Just remembered. So I'll drop the trailer, and then get some ad blue. Do, 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 do. Right, let's go spinning round. There's uh, Santa's roofs. Santa's logs. No, no, not that log. Not the log for the toilet. So that's the exit over there. Where we come in, but we can't make the left hand turn. So we need to spin round. Ah, not a lot of room around here to spin, so I'll reverse back and then take the left again. Lovely. Go around here. Yeah, we can't, when we come in, we can't make the left as the bloke said, I remember last time. It's far too tight. Okay, <laughs> blow my own as I go past. It's quite easy. <laughs> I just scared the crap out of it. Right, let's go around here. Oh, it's a bit narrow here. We should be able to get past. Loads of room. <laughs> Let's 
going to wave this bike around me. I think he's delivering food. Let him get on with it. I'll only be holding my map otherwise. He ain't slowing down though, is he? He's going for it. Christmas tree. Go. Lovely. I'd, it's the sort of road I'd like to take my car on, but I wouldn't want to get chips all over it. <laughs> I don't want to damage my paintwork. I assume we can go straight out. No one's stopping me. So sometimes they want to get your reg so they can sign you out in case there's a fire or whatever. But no one's done that, so we shall just go. Clear left after this car, clear right. Let's get out of here. There we go, Lapland delivery complete. Apparently they've got some more coming potentially next week, so might be here again. Might not, I don't know. Might have some snow, so if there is snow, then um, I'll... Uh, Include it, maybe in this video or whatever one, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I see we're back in the yard. Okay, okay, we're done. It's actually a few days later, I'm not gonna lie, but I forgot to do an outro. But there she is, I just hitched up back to her, back up to the trailer. Uh, but I've had a couple of days off sick, <laughs> uh, but I've edited this video. Realised I didn't do an ending, so this is the ending now. I've just popped back into work, just to, uh, to hitch up, brought my daughter along with me. Say hi, Lottie. Go on YouTube. Go on YouTube. You know what YouTube is. <laughs> anyway, so we're done. We're gonna head home now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Say bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye.